want to grab my camera, do you? I haven't got any food. I haven't got any food. Mm -hmm. You're friendly, aren't you? I think you're friendly. Yes, I think you're very friendly. Come on. Huh? Why do you want to throw that at me? Yeah, there's 11 babies. Um, all orphans, macaques, different ones, etc. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's one with three legs. Yes, that's. Yeah, one lot. One lot was brought to us uh, less than a year ago. Uh, she was a little bit less than a year ago. They said that her arm got caught in a vine and snapped. And we had to empty it. Mm -hmm. Um, as I said, that they, it was not there. Okay. So we're like, yeah, okay, maybe. Um, the one that's above her, that's Ubu, who is owned by a French couple. This is Bandit. She's not a baby. She's about 14 years old. Oh, she's just really small. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it doesn't help that she doesn't have any legs. She only has one arm and two fingers. She was born that way. Oh, really? It's a um, little more macaque. She came to us before. You can go a little bit closer, but please do not go too close because these guys will take everything you have. <laughs> do the other ones pick on her or do they look after her? She's the boss. Oh, really? Yeah. She's You're the boss. boss. She's way older than everybody else. You're the boss. What about you? What's your deal? Hello? <laughs> That's the guy He's the cross eyed. Oh, we used to. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm at the temple, at the turn off to the uh, elephant sanctuary, and spotted this really beautiful um, white temple. Really, really pretty in the middle of the jungle. Really pretty. like it's locked up. There's another one up on top of the hill that I'm going to go up and look at. But this is uh, pretty. Shrine. 
not a hundred percent what goes on here but gonna have a look anyway there's more stuff up there in the bush let's have a read of this and see what it says it's in Thai so I can't understand what it's about but obviously you know they have a lot of uh, animal stuff it's so beautiful here it's so quiet birds rock formations are incredible uh, there's nothing above them so <laughs> it begs the question where did they fall from <laughs> really must have been mountainous terrain here at some stage or other ah. uh, 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 uh. okay folks here we go here we go Buddha lying down having rest in the jungle. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Now I'm heading up here into this jungle because I spotted a cave and some kind of uh, little shrine there under that big dome looking rock. So I've got to be a bit careful because I'm absolutely certain there'll be snakes around here. And that uh, leeches, leeches for sure. It's been raining every day. It is the wet season. There's an unfinished uh, Buddha there. Uh, I'm intrigued. This is a really lovely temple ground, a lovely temple complex. It really is beautiful and it's in such a beautiful tropical jungle setting. So, I'm not sure what's further up the track. I'm not gonna go up there. There may be tigers or something. But yeah, there's a, uh, well, it looks like a door. It looks like someone's probably carved something into that rock. How interesting. If you see, you can see there's a door there carved into the rock. How interesting. Okay. Now, I'm going to have a guess here and say that all those animals around this shrine are directly related to the Chinese horoscope. You see, you've got a horse, you've got a goat, you've got a monkey, here's a snake, that's me, you're the snake, and then you have uh, the dragon, of course, next to the stake the snake not the stake and you've got the rabbit which I think it is the year of the rabbit now I'm not a hundred percent certain but obviously that's what this signifies and I think you come around people walk around here and they say little prayers to the animal deity of their year of birth in the Chinese horoscope you've got the tiger there over here you've got the oxen yeah, so I'm absolutely certain that's what that is. I'm hazarding a guess, but it's a certain, I'm certain of it. So if anyone knows, they can uh, put in the comments what their idea of this is. But I'm pretty sure you walk around there and you find your animal deity for your year of birth in the Chinese horoscope. And you say some little prayers there for some good luck. It's pretty here. I can't tell you, it's so pretty here. It is just so, so pretty. Oh, I'm so glad I come on this little bike ride over here. It's not far, it's five minutes from the uh, animal sanctuary. Yeah, really amazing rock formations. But it is extremely pretty here. Extremely pretty. I'm not 100% certain why this temple down here is locked but it may be that it's not completed inside or something. I don't know. Shrines, family shrines, I think they are, probably from people that lived here before. Unsure. 
Well, they're definitely family shrines. People that have died, family that have died, those smaller ones, usually they have them in their yard. So this at one stage may have been someone's property and they've donated it to the temple. As you can see, it's quite pretty. White, you don't see too many white temples but the white and gold is uh, really quite nice uh, there's another shrine here I'm not a hundred percent certain what goes on I'm, I'm not sure about these shrines what they mean what they do um, they have uh, you know icons and stuff like that and is ancient, very ancient indeed. Oh, it's a chook. A chook sitting quite peacefully there. I mean a real chook. Hi hey, baby. Maybe they put some things on here and people get dressed up, I don't know. There's all these little shrines. It's a really old boat. Really, really old. You laying eggs in there, baby? Look at this old thing. This is incredibly old. All hand carved. Even the ribs are all hand carved. Quite amazing. Quite amazing. Obviously it means something to the people. Anyway, we shall keep going. Some wonderful local people just relaxing here, watching the cows. I'm gonna go down and have a look at the cows myself. Make and lay, yeah? All right. Just took a random road, a random dirt road off the uh, off the main road. Came to the end of the road here. These people got their cows down here, having a feed. Good morning, children. Afternoon. Afternoon, Tamai. Oh, my tongue palm, yeah. Got a bit of a lake down here some water there is that river up there that I saw before so yeah it is a beautiful place here it is a beautiful place oh, look at these little guys hi guys hi hey hello so thanks everybody for watching uh, this will be the last one in the uh, little three-part series of the Wildlife Friends Animal Foundation. Uh, I urge everyone, $1, $2, $5, I'll leave links in the information under the video. Please donate because uh, there's no profit here. I know that the money generally goes to caring uh, for these animals and providing them food and a place to live free and safe and uh, medical help please donate i'll put some links under the video once again thanks very much for watching thanks for all the comments and thanks so much for everyone for, who has subscribed please like and share the videos uh, my videos are not bar hopping or girls butts and stuff like that well most of the time they're not anyway so i know it's a, a niche audience i have but uh, if you enjoy Thailand, if you enjoy looking at what goes on in Thailand, what it's like living here, please hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you anything but a couple of moments of your time. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Thanks so much for watching. See you all when I see you. Ciao for now.